so we we go now to to the present uh, actually longer than the present when you have been the mentor you have been working going with students you formed uh, the international schools of jazz i mean you've uh you know you've been a major force in jazz education so when you go into these situations today and you work with kids now how do you mentor them is it like do you do you play with them do you criticize them what's the i know there's a lot of different ways this it's works well. It's it's all of the above. I mean, I'm a pretty good teacher. I learned a, I put some time into lear, learning pedagogy and uh, pedagogical approaches. And of course, with art, let's say just art in general, there's only so much you can do. You can give certain amount of facts and figures and schematics of how to do things. Uh, you can't really teach creativity. You can instill and inspire, and that's your, your main job. But of course, you critique, you uh, stroke. Uh, you play games, you act, you're a comedian, you're, you're playing, it's a set, it's a performance. Teaching is performance. I mean, when it's, certainly when it's a class. Now, I'm going, for example, tomorrow. I have a 10, 12-hour day tomorrow. I leave here at about 8.30 in the morning, Pennsylvania. I'll get into Manhattan School of Music by 10.30. I go 11 to 3 with my first-year master students, 3 to 5 with a special edition master class I do. It's going to be rhythm section interaction with soloists and five to nine with second year students so i have like and by the time i drive back it'll be you know 12 14 15 hour a day i do it once a month so in a lecture situation that's 25 to 35 students in each of the class a lecture situation obviously you're really on you're doing a show in a way i mean it's like set one set two you know how do you go up how do you go down how do you make excitement when do you give breathing room when do you uh, get funny and humorous and when do you get serious and when do you get I'll say the word spiritual, you know, where you talk about the magic. I mean, it might not be the day tomorrow to do all those things, but all methods are on the table, and I I use everything. And, of course, the final thing is, it's very, it's full circle. Elvin didn't talk. I played with him. I learned so much, I can't even tell you. That's the final bottom line when somebody plays with me. Now, of course, now 35 students aren't going to play with me. But as I tell them, I say the best experience you'll ever have is when you play with someone who is ahead of you who has more experience, has things down, has been there before. You get on the stage with somebody like that, you know, it's incalculable and it's beyond words what you learn. It's not, even if you stand in front of the guy and, you know, four feet away, as I did with Coltrane, live, and watch somebody play and listen and watch them move their fingers, and of course you try to get everything you can in that way, there's nothing like standing side by side with somebody. It's almost a physical thing. And of course that's the ultimate learning tool that I have, which is when I play, if, you know, as I've mentored people like, you know, Bill Evans and other people like that over the years. I mean, they, you know, played with me. And that's something then, there's nothing to say really after that. That's the final, the final act of the show is let's get up and play. 